Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, made a second appearance before parliamentary panel on Friday in the northern states of Hamburg to respond to inquiries from lawmakers on his handling of a tax fraud scheme while serving as the mayor of the city. Of course I would like him to come clean, but I honestly don't expect anything. I expect him not to remember and to refer to his former statements. Scholz's political opponents have urged him to provide more information about meetings he held in 2016 and 2017 with the private bank Warburg, which was under pressure to return millions of euros in tax rebates it had incorrectly claimed for share sales. I think that in the end transparency will benefit the truth here, and that in the end we will know how it went. And we believe that we already know 90% of that today. We can see that from the files, we can see that from the communication situation, and we can see that from the behavior after the events. Because many things have been deleted here, have been concealed, or attempt to be concealed. These are all things that one does not do if one has nothing to hide. Schultz, who was appointed federal finance minister in 2018, has previously said he doesn't recall details of the meetings. However, several opposition leaders said they don't believe Schultz's memory lapses. I don't believe that Olaf Schultz doesn't remember. And that's why the impression, also from the possibly deleted emails, is that there is something to hide here and that there was political influence. Olaf Schultz's role must now be clarified. Meanwhile, some protesters gathered in front of the parliament in Hamburg to call for Schultz to clarify his role in the case. Such event threatens to destabilize him even as he struggles to keep his fractured coalition together in the face of popular discontent about skyrocketing energy inflation. The investigation into COMEX share transactions is seen as one of Germany's biggest post-war corporate scandals, and it is involving dozens of bankers which are said to have cost the German government billions of euros.